Welcome to Let's Play Discuss Super Mario Land 2 Six Golden Coins. This is Ron Moore along with the Wii Guy and the Star Soldier. Yo. Hey, how's everybody doing out there? And this is the perfect uh, time to upload this video for Halloween as we're in the scary Wario's castle. <gasps> Too spooky for me. Yep. <laughs> and my first, uh, <laughs> yeah, my first video recording being uploaded for my new apartment. Yay! Yay! The old apartment that you're back in again. Well, I'm an old apartment complex, but yeah, still same floor plan. And let's see right here if I can plan on not dying. <laughs> the fat man's are gonna get you. I plant your seed of success. Yeah. Whoa! Dang it, it got me. Oh! <laughs> Almost got me again. Yeah, so Wario's Castle, of course, the hardest level in the game, and... Yeah, even though I mean, it's still not as hard as it should be, but still definitely uh, pretty challenging the first time around. It's I a pretty short this. stage. Yeah. I didn't realize that, how easy this game was, so I went back and played it years later. <laughs> I guess when you're a kid, it seems challenging. I don't know, you retain well, you some bits better. Yeah, oh. that too. Wait, what? Well, you have 31 lives, Ryan said, and I said that, well, sometimes you retain better, I don't know, ex skill when you were young. Yeah. The heck these, oh yeah, you step on a certain floor and Mario's fist come out. Don't get fisted. <laughs> Whoa. What? What? It's true. What do you What do you call that? Should I say something else? It's called don't get <laughs> pounded. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. That's better. <laughs> no, don't get it up the butt. <laughs> All right, bear. And oh, look out! Oh, that's a dummy. It's a dummy uh, plant. There's nothing. No power in that plant. Yeah. Oh, watch out for the spikes. Oh, oh I hate this part. Yeah. Yes, skip. That was simple. Yeah. It's easy to skip. I don't get Rogers. it. No, easy to skip Rogers. Sorry. It sounded wrong. Okay, and come on Mario, run faster than that. What the heck? He's running slow all of a sudden. <laughs> I know we've got Sonic, but come on. Slow down. Whoa, now we're fighting the Pringles guy. Ah, dang it. I'll take the pizza flavor. I was like, Wario and the Pringles guy had a love child. What the heck is this? No, it's like a uh, Wario mixed with an enemy from Metroid. <laughs> Ugh. Oh no. Oh, now there's two of his balls. Ah, I can see where this is going. Yeah. Get I it. want ketchup. <laughs> well, hopefully, Wait. you got the balls to face these guys? Must. <laughs> no. Oh, oh it's his balls. What, uh, again? Balls Mahoney now. And, uh, I thought there'd be three of them now. There's still two. Oh, oh what? what? Oh, oh, come on. Oh, here we go. Oh, we had a jump cut. Yep. Oh, no nice. That. Oh, two and one? Man, that's like, it's like Ash 52, but minus 50. Yep. Oh, here we go. Dang, soldier, he's a first soldier versus Jay. Oh God, I wonder who is who. Man, <laughs> fireballs are bad, Mario. I know fireballs don't work. He's immune to fireballs. Damn, Wario's bigger than I remembered. Yeah, they they really went all out with the sprite. Yeah. <laughs> Just move back and forth. Yep. And that's just part Definitely one. Definitely not the most creative boss. Yeah. Well, much more better than fighting Freddy in the Nightmare World. <laughs> and and not on Elm Street, but NES. Yeah. It, that was like five nights with Freddy. <laughs> he had it. Oh. Anyway, um... Oh. Ah, what? Dang it, he gets the power-ups, too. Of course. Well, that's not fair. It's a, it's a free world to get <laughs> fire flowers and bunny... Bunny ears. Oh. Nice. Too bad like, bunny ears suck. What's he got Mario yeah, Tech? Right right well, you know, because, um... Um... 
Shut up, don't ask questions. <gasps> right, here we go. Now he's on fire. He's on flower power. Ah. Oh. Oh my! Okay, this... Ah, fail! What the hell? <laughs> jump cut. Here we go. Ah! Come on, I jumped on him. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, unfortunately, Mario doesn't quite have the smooth controls he does in Super Mario World. Yeah. That's the end of Mario. Oh, shrinkage! Ew! <laughs> Looks like a weird goblin now. What's that he threw at me? Banana peel. What? Don't commit suicide at all! Yeah. This is my salad. <laughs> oh, the wavy effect! Yeah. Do, do, do. Yeah. Do the Scooby Doo ending. Oh, right, Shaggy? The, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's just like the Miz. <laughs> yeah. And Where's, now it's a M. So Luigi would be Ms. Dow? Mrs. Dowfire? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so my quest is over. That is the end of Super Mario Land 2, 6 ECW coins. What? But there are seven. There's a coin right there on the, on the castle. Oh yeah, it's Easter Egg. Yeah, right. <laughs> and a whole bunch of names that we can't pronounce. Yeah. Except for the composer when he comes up. ECW, ECW. Or it's coming up. It, it, he'll be coming up soon, don't worry. <laughs> Dang it, programmers. There's too many of them. <laughs> yeah. Ah, system programmer, come on. <laughs> what? Spike the makers of the music? <laughs> no. Easy for you. This is so catchy. Can't wait for that the stereo. Is <laughs> Channel. It's so catchy. There we goes. Kazumi Tokaka. Tokaka. Yep. yep. Probably. There we go. Now you can talk or whatever. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> My job is done. No, no, yeah, we're waiting for it. There he is, package designer. That's what I was waiting for. Yes. Oh, oh, of oh course, the most important uh, name in all the game, the package designer. Oh, testing player. Here we go. Who doesn't like a good package? Oh wait. And a designer of one. There we go, Yoshihiro Tajiri. Oh wait. Hey, that's my cousin. Kensuke no. Sasaki. The Great Muda. The Great Muda. Masa Saito. Gunpei Yorkoi. There he is. Gunpei! Right. Rest in peace. Creator of the greatest console ever. That's right, the Virtual Boy. <laughs> oh, man. Woohoo! Don James. It's so way for a Virtual Girl. Virtual- hmm. There is plenty of that already. You don't need someone to-, to yeah. <laughs> It says Dave Brooks. Did anybody put Davy Brooks? Or maybe that is how you spell it. Oh, Dave Brooks. Miles. Get that name out of here. Mary Kokoma. <laughs> Presented by. Oh, wait for it. Capcom. Oh, oh I got Enterprises. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mario Land 2 by Nintendo. So there you go. That's the end of this LP. Yeah, so this was definitely what. Probably my, probably my favorite Game Boy game. I'm not sure, but. I mean, other favorite Game Boy games are, of course, the first Mario Land, and um, I remember having fun with Battletoads on Game Boy, and you know what, I, I, to kind of think of it, there wasn't really many Game Boy games I played back then. This one definitely stands out above the rest, so this probably is my favorite Game Boy game of all time. Really enjoyed playing it in the summer of 94, and uh, it was my friend's Game Boy, and he would let me play it a lot, he let me borrow it, and... Uh, so yeah, this game was definitely fun. A major improvement over the first one. It reminds me of Street Rage 1 and 2. Like, the comparison is so, uh, li like, different. Like, the first Street Rage was awesome, and then Part 2 just <laughs> made Part 1 look weak. Same thing with Mario Land 2, even though it's not nearly as challenging as the first one. Um, graphics and soundtrack is awesome. Uh, just the only thing that's weak in this game is the challenge. And, um, uh, but it was still a fun game. Um... Really brought, back, really brought back a lot of great memories from 20 years ago. 
So yeah, it's definitely a fun Game Boy game to play for its time. Uh, Wario, who I think he made his debut in this game. And uh, yeah, his arch nemesis. Uh, Mario's arch nemesis. And yeah, so I kind of wish... Uh, this game was also one player, was it? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of wish it would actually included mm -hmm. Luigi. I know it's not Luigi Land, but still, it would have been cool if they made that back then. Um, yeah, so this this is definitely a great game. And, of course, the awesome soundtrack in the uh, Space Maze stage that we did in part uh, the previous part. So, yeah, this game was awesome. I definitely give this game a 9 out of 10. We got? Alrighty. Well, I own this game, so of course I had the chance to play it, and I certainly think it is a better game than the first one, even if it isn't as doesn't have as much of a challenge. But I think the challenge in the first one kind of came with like the controls, because it was the controls were kind of stiffy. Like I guess depending on how you jumped or when you jumped, it was kind of stiff. Here, it's a lot more freeform, the natural kind of way of how Mario moved, and uh, yeah, the game was very fun. I enjoyed it from beginning to end. Despite the lack of challenge, but of course the, I mean, I played on the Super Game Boy, so I got color, and the graphics then were, were better or nice because it was on the default uh, layout, and of course the music, fantastic. I mean, can't say anything more about that except maybe it's stereo. I don't have one of this game, but it will, I will soon. So, you, if whenever hey. someone's listening to this, the, this video, you can then check this out or that out. Um. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. It's uh, it was a fun game to play. I very much enjoyed. The last level is definitely actually probably the hardest part about the game, which did take me a, a lot of tries uh, when I first played it. But uh, it was good. It was worth it. And yeah, I'd probably give this game about a uh, probably an eight out of ten. All right, Star Soldier. Oh yeah, baby! It's such an amazing game, top to bottom. A huge improvement of the original graphics. You know, it looked so much like Mario 3, Super Mario World, that it almost stretched in and think it's that good of a game. But, hey, it does its own thing as well. You know, you're going to, like, ghost houses. You're going up in the stars. Yeah, it's like Mario in a whole new light, so to speak. Yeah, I love it. It's just such a departure from the other games. You can tell some other people were you know, heading up the project besides the usual Mario team. And because of that, we got all new Mario game. <laughs> in some ways, yeah, it's like apples and oranges. You know, it's not as good as the other Mario games, but in some ways, it's also better. <laughs> it's a shame, though, it's in black and white, and, you know, we got mini music, but they were able to really maximize the Game Boy to its fullest here because we still got some large sprites, and some very catchy soundtracks here. I especially love the Starman theme, you know? <laughs> I'm going to hum it right now. Yeah, it's a bit different, though. Still I, week, I would love that. <laughs> yeah, well, Alpha621 oh, okay. posted a video on my Facebook. Uh, someone played it on a guitar. And that's pretty cool. Yeah, so it's just a great game, top to bottom. I wish it was longer. It's kind of easy in spots, but... Hey, you'll have a blast playing it either way. I give it a 92 out of 100. Oh, yeah, baby. Definitely maximum. Classic. What? Maximum score. Well, that's not maximum score, but it's pretty high. Yeah, close to maximum. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely a classic. For those of you who are watching this LP and never played it, uh, yeah. I mean, you probably want to play Might it after well. watching it because it's a pretty fun classic game. All right, so with that said, we are out of here. I'm Ron Moore. The Wii Guy. Here's our world heavyweight champion, Star Soldier 1, and happy hour console gamer. Yep. All right. God bless. Take care. <laughs> Later. It's-a me, the Wii Guy. <laughs>